This step is for the constructor to initiate the RFI process. If you are not a contractor, you may not be able to see the screen that I share with you using your account, but I would like to encourage you to watch the video to understand what other users do when the RFI process is not in your court. Starting on the Appropriate Projects Processes page, click on Start Process button. Then click on the Request for Information RFI link to initiate the process. The constructor must fill in all required fields, those with a red asterisk. The subject is the RFI title which best describes the RFI content and purpose. The date due field is pre-populated with seven calendar days offset from submission date. However, the field is editable and constructor can change the due date prior to submitting if necessary to address urgent matters. The subcontractor and subcontractor's RFI number fields are very helpful to backtrack the RFI into the subcontractor system if the RFI is originally requested by the subcontractors. Reason for RFI is a drop-down list with limited options. Please pick the one that best describes the RFI content and purpose. You then need to select the pertinent CSI section codes to the subject RFI. One selection is required at least, but you can add multiple selections as needed. The document reference refers to the number assigned to the drawing or document subject to the RFI's question or request for clarification. The RFI question is entered in the Information Requested field. If you have any suggestions or recommendations, seeing as you are on the job site every day and have a closer proximity to any issue that arises, Please enter your proposed resolution in the CM's Suggested Resolution field. You are almost done. You may just need to attach the supporting materials. If documents are needed to support the request, such as evidential photos from the job site or the drawings under question, click on Attach Documents tab and then the Attach button. Select Upload from your computer. Confirm the F.02 Requests for Information as the default folder and click Select. Then you can simply drag and drop files and folders from your computer to the Upload page or click Browse to find and attach the file from your computer. Give it about 3-5 to five seconds depending on the file size and your internet speed to upload the file into eBuilder. When the Done button is activated, click on it. The Attached Documents tab gets refreshed and the attached file should be listed there. You can also attach the other process instances, such as an old RFI, to support your request. Click on Attach Processes tab and then Attach button. Select the process type from the drop-down and any keyword to narrow down your search. Click Filter. Then browse through the list to select the desired process instances and then click Attach. The Attached Processes tab gets refreshed and the attached process instances should show up there. If ready to submit the RFI, click the Submit button to advance the request to the AE.